You're still live here on the uh, Joy Prime channel on Malta TV. And this is Autograph, where we bring you your favorite personalities, your favorite people, and their lifestyles. Here with me is Pastor Joe Beecham. Pastor, we've been talking about that major challenge of 10 years of childlessness, and it's mm -hmm. wonderful. It's an amazing story. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure there are many other stories to tell, you know. Mm -hmm. um, weird things and bizarre things. You, you spoke earlier about that altercation you had with the policeman in traffic and mm -hmm. all of that. And uh, I'm wondering, has any other bizarre thing, like maybe like an accident or something happened before? Exactly. Have you experienced anything yeah, like that before? Exactly. After accidents, are uh, 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 uncomfortable. Wow. Yes. But um, one uh, remarkable is when I had the crash with the train. You had a crash with the train? Yes. Where? In Takradi, the harbor area. Um, it was a Tuesday morning. Okay. <laughs> I was just, I went to the harbor area and was returning. And there was this car ahead of me. So when we got to where the rail lines are, there was no sign for us to stop. So we kept moving. And I realized that the car in front, in front of me, ahead of me, just sped off. I went to the other side and was calling me to come back. I had taken it easy. I didn't know why he, he should drive, you know, like that on a rail line. And uh, suddenly I looked at my right and a train was coming, approaching. <laughs> that sounds like a movie now. I'm telling you. <laughs> what did you do? I just, I saw it and uh, I said to myself, there are several of them. The lines were, were many. So I said, okay, maybe it is not in my path. But it kept approaching. And I realized that. Mm. And suddenly somebody was carrying a, a, this stop sign. When the thing was approaching, you know, carrying a stop sign, I should stop where I was. So I was so confused. That was when I realized that my right hand was weak. My left leg was weak. So I couldn't step on the, on the clutch. Okay, so then your car was uh, manual uh, transmission. Exactly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I, I, I knew something in me. I, I told you that I have some, this kind of stubborn hope. Yeah. So I knew I would escape it. I would go. But the more I tried to touch the gear, the more my hands felt very weak. And then my, my foot, my left foot, was weak as well. And I was still trying. The, the train was approaching. I was still trying. But it wasn't working. So the next thing we heard was... Mm. And then started pushing us away. Who else was in the car? Was it just you driving? I had three passengers in the car. Two ladies at the back. Um, my landlady's, you know, daughters were in the car. And a friend of mine was also sitting just by me at the front. So the train, the nose just had entered the car. So we, we were all looking this way. We didn't want to look at it. Then this guy who was sitting by me was now sitting on my lap. Wow. And I was still holding on to the steer. And the two ladies at the back were attempting to jump open out. the doors to okay. jump out. And I would tell them, you are not going anywhere. And I will lock the doors. And I didn't even know that all the four ties were off. They, they were somewhere. So we were sitting right. On the rail. On the metal. And we were being pushed along. And people were following us. So people knew my car, so everybody was kind of, uh, it's Joe Beecham, Joe Beecham, Joe Beecham. And, you know, they were following us, and we could hear them talk all the way through. Apparently, there, there was a, another accident before, a week before. And um, uh, it, that was a train and an articulator truck, and the driver died. So this was a, a salon car, an Audi 80. And we were being pushed along. The, we, we, we were dragged to about, let me say, four or 500 meters. And suddenly, the train stopped. 